Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. This is a Whoopi speaking and going on on this uh, capacitor discharging and uh, free wheeling magnifier test two. As you remember, on the test one, I made some uh, calculation which uh, uh, have made some uh, counter proposition which were probably correct, but. I was not very happy with those, with this explanation, so I went on another test now, okay. And uh, as Stefan from uh, OU asked me if I could make a test with two same capacitor, okay. And I do a lot of tests, not only one. So okay, now I will try to explain you what I found with something else. For instance here, I uh, take a comparison with water tank, okay? And I said that 10 volts could be the 10 units of water. This water is in a tank. Here under we have um, a pipe who goes to the another tank, which is now zero. It is completely empty. And here is a valve. Okay. When I open the valve, what happened? The potential difference goes down now until 5 and all the rest go with a lot of currents on the other tank and they stop here at 5 and the result is finished. And so if I go to same cap and I put them in parallel, one is at the beginning full and the other one is empty. What happened? If it has 10 volts at the beginning and th this one 0 volt, after the coupling here, the paralleling, this one will be 5 volt and this one will be 5 volt. And that I checked with my oscilloscope and it is true. Almost no resistance uh, lost because it is direct. Okay. So what happened if we go on this calculation now? I'll take perhaps this on a better light. Okay, I had 10 volt here at uh, let's say 47 microfarad. Okay, that is to say the stored energy in this cap at the beginning is 10 squared times 47 times 0.5. It is 2350 microjoules. And after the di uh, direct transfer, as I said just before, this transfer here, what happened? I have two times 5 volt at 47 times 0.5. It is two times 587.5 microjoule. It is 1157 microjoule. So this direct transfer has a very poor efficiency. Only, as you can see here, 50%. I am something shocked by this because it is a direct transfer, no resistor. If I put this in this, I, lo I lose 50% of the energy. <coughs> I am not very satisfied with this result. So I go on other test now. And it is what I make in the first test on the previous video. Now I have always always this uh, water comparison, always at 10 volts here or 10 units. Okay. Now in the pipe, I put a resistor or a turbine. Okay. This turbine will be coupled here with a flywheel. It is an example, okay? This resistor could be the resistance of the inductor and the diode. Because the resistance is not very high. As I proved in uh, the first uh, video, it was only 2 ohms, if you remember. Okay. Plus, perhaps the diode's resistance. So, perhaps the water will go slower down and I make this 
calculation. We go now, as previously, the potential difference is from 10 to 5. Now I go here, from 10 to 5 will be the potential difference to speed up the turbine and the flywheel. And as the levels are at the same here, the flywheel is at full speed. And now normally it has to stop, but as the flywheel is turning very fast and has a lot of energy, it goes on pumping by inertial uh, uh, force and it goes on emptying this reservoir and goes up this one. And I make the test and it was very interesting because I could pump up and recreate more potential difference, as you can see, 6.5 than was the initial potential difference. Mm. So it is to say that if I have 6.5 unit of recreated potential difference and only 5 at the creating, I have a energy gain of 130 percent. Mm. Mm -hmm. And as you can see here, for instance, now I have made a new test. With this time I use the secondary with a lot of resistance, 107 ohms for 19 Henry. And I use very small tantalum capacitor 2.2 microfarad each and always my bat 43 and look at what I, I could get on the scope very very interesting I try to show you I sorry to, to move the f f main cap goes up to 25 volt here Okay. At this point, I discharge this cap on the second uh, cap, same value. And as you can see, the second cap goes up here to 22 and a half volt and goes slowly down then. And the second cap is almost empty. It rests only this 3 volt or something less. Very high efficiency. Ooh. Okay, I hope this can help and I, not, of course, accept every comment on this. Because the main thing that disturbed me is this calculation. Is it true or not? Can we lose so much power, so much energy by direct transfer? <clears throat> okay, good night at all.